don't like the fact because you got to be stung with bees. They're little honeybees. And um, I've been stung by a honeybee. And um, yes, Don, CAT scans are very important too. Very, mu very much so. You know, um, bee venom therapy um, sounds kind of hurtful and painful. But uh, Amber has stung over 60 some thousand people in her life including herself and um these people swear by bee venom therapy for the pain it's not just you know, a lot of y'all probably know it from lyme disease but it's it's for ms crps uh you know you name it all of them so it's a very good very good thing and when i do the show i'll, I'll post it a couple of days ahead of time because i really want y'all to listen because it is it, it's amazing to listen about this bee venom therapy um, I've seen something the other day on RSDSA's website <clears throat> or one of their things that they posted that um, ketamine is the big thing now for CRPS. I don't know it, that to be true or not. But that's what they said. That's what it said there, so I tend to kind of believe it. I don't know much about ketamine. Uh, I'm not sure I really want to know about it. Because from what I've seen, it looks pretty dangerous to me. Um, but now I hear that insurance is not covering it at all. Again, I don't know how true this is. This is what I've heard. The same thing with the the stimulator. Yeah, Todd, I'm very interested in bee venom therapy. I'll, I'll hook you up, buddy. I got, the, I got the person that knows all about it. I mean, she is good. She knows all about it. And has many people around her that knows about it. Um, it's no joke. It's no joke. And the bee venom therapy is very inexpensive. From what I understand, you can buy your own bees and raise them for like, I, I'm going to say like 10 to 15 cents a piece for the bees or something like that. That's pretty cheap. And you can raise them yourself even in the wintertime. Uh, you can sting yourself. It's, um, <laughs> Jenna, yes, bees. Yeah, bees. Bees do work. They do work very well. And um, I know this probably is, not not new to most of you, but some of you are probably like, this guy has really went off the deep end. No, seriously, bee venom tr treatment is very, uh, very big, and it has been for many, many, many years. Um, I'm trying to get the people in the MS community to switch over to, you know, try bee venom, and uh, they're not real happy about it. <laughs> they, uh, they're like, I don't want to be stung by bees. I'm like, oh, bees, I'd rather take a bee sting over chronic pain any day of the week. But, uh, you know, insurance companies are, you know, it's the first end of the year and all the things are changing and rates are changing and this is changing and that's changing. You know, um, hold on, I'm reading a comment here. That's, that's really cool. Um, 20 years, ketamine got me walking, has... Okay, good, good job. I, I am not, um, I, you know, again, I'm not knocking ketamine by no means. I've just seen some things, and I'm like, eh, it doesn't look very well. Uh, that's that's all. That's what I'm going on. Um, I know it works for a lot of people. Uh, I've really I heard a lot of people uh, talk talk very good about ketamine, and um. That's you know that's that's great. I mean, I'm glad it works. I'm glad it helps people. That's you know that's that's what all this is about. Um, I, you know, I don't know what I've done here. Hold on, <laughs> I touched a button there. Um, you know, I just think it's kind of scary from what I've seen. I've never had it, so you know, again, I'm, I'm just by what I see and what I've heard people say. Some people say. Um, but it's like anything else in the chronic pain community. Um, not everything works for all of us, and we all know that. You know, there's um, there's a lot of things that doesn't work for people. Um, like the gabapentin that I was on for three years, uh, it helped with the chronic pain, but it made me get very, very heavy, and I don't like that. So I made the switch, and I found something that works great, and um, I. I can't be happier. Um, of course, now I have some other issues going on. And, you know, it could be the CRPS as well. It's just something I have to check into. But it could be. So, you know, we um, 
we, we, we just we're going to keep the fight, people. We're going to keep fighting. We're going to keep fighting. We're not going to give in. Um, you know, we. I don't know really how how else to say it besides we just need to get off our ass and get busy. I mean, that's the bottom line. Um, not trying to be hateful to no one. Y'all know that. Uh, it's just something that it's serious. It's what we need to do. We really need to do. This chronic pain is no joke. These disorders is no joke. And these insurance companies running all over us is no joke. And till we stand up and stay united and fight this, we're going to get absolutely nowhere but worse. And I'm not up for that. I'm up for change. I'm up to be better. And I want to be able to do things with my family. I want to be able to go more than 20 minutes and have to sit down and almost be in tears because I hurt so bad. That just sucks. I'm sorry. It does. And I don't like it. And I'm trying to do everything I can to get it changed. But I can't do it by myself. I need you people and many more with us in this fight. And, um, you know, as far as the stimulator and this and that not being covered by insurance, I'm going to check into that over this weekend. So next week I'll be able to give you more information on it. I just briefly wanted to say something because I've seen where somebody had said it to me. And, you know, I want to pass it on. And not saying that the person is not telling me the truth by no means i would i'm not saying that but i i don't believe the whole the whole thing it quite quite the way they're saying it i think that um there's a little bit more to it than just that um i mean yes the insurance company could stop paying for it and they would if it was too expensive um i, I could see them doing that very quickly um and that's something that we got to stop we've got to stop it and um we we can't you know we can't uh can't do it with just two or three people it takes a lot jenna i see you're talking about um same with lyrica yes lyrica can cause weight gain just like gabapentin um they're one of the same i mean they are so much alike um you know and when the gabapentin did work for the pain i mean it worked great but the massive weight gain and feeling drunk all the time was not my style. I've felt drunk plenty of times in my life. And um, I really don't miss that feeling now that I'm older. Um, <laughs> used to be fun back when I was younger and healthier, but it's not so fun anymore. And my son comes and gets in my picture, <laughs> really. Hey, you can't leave me alone, man. Um, but, you know, we, um, we need to... Uh, just just stay together and let's keep fighting folks and we're going to get things done it's just going to take a while and a lot of fighting so um i'm going to end my little adventure this evening uh, it's been what, about 30 minutes and um people on my radio are probably going this guy's crazy because he's talking to himself or talking to people that ain't there but they don't <clears throat> they don't see me on facebook live seeing people write questions and stuff but yeah jenna you're absolutely right um if we can fight all together, our numbers would reach. That's right. The age movement. You're right. Absolutely right. It takes numbers, folks. Um, listen, I'm going to say this. And I mean no offense to the, to the LGBT or whatever it's called, the gay and lesbian community. Listen, we need to learn a lesson from them. We need to learn how to stay together and stay united. They've done it. And they move mountains. Now we need to do it, and we need to move mountains on our side. Again, I'm I'm not a I'm not saying anything bad about them at all. Nothing, nothing at all. But I will tell you this: we need to learn from them. And I said it to you: we need to learn from them. We need to learn a lot. We can do it, and we will do it. But we got to stay positive, and we have to stay together. It's the only way. The only way we're ever going to make a difference, ever. If you got one or two people or, you know, 50 people sending letters, that ain't nothing. You need 50 million, 50,000. Those are the numbers I'm talking about. Big numbers, lots of people, lots of people. And this community cannot stand together. So, again, we need to learn from another community from not very long ago 
how they stand together around the world they stand together okay not just here in florida and here in the u.s around the world they united for one think about it folks it's something to think about tonight before you go to sleep what relaxing or whatever think about what i said think about coming together because that's what this that's what we need yes our country needs it and i'm not going to disagree with you but we need to do it in our community and that's a chronic pain community with that being said folks i'm done for the night good night god bless thanks for watching and don't forget monday night i'll probably start doing the hour shows coming up next week if i'm feeling better right now i'm just trying to keep them together so uh i appreciate y'all's time thanks for watching my video y'all have a blessed evening and good night okay everyone i am done i am calling in tonight but thank y'all very much for listening to corners corner and don't forget to follow us on speaker.com at corners corner more than welcome to be here love being here and I love having an audience that cares and wants to make a difference. So with that being said, good night to the chronic pain world, and God bless.